Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. Today's video, I'm going to be coming at you guys, trying to help you guys out again. I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase your FPS in Fortnite Season 9. This is a completely new method, and these are things that you have probably not saw at all yet. You know, everyone seen in generic videos where it's just like CC cleaner, all them basic things that you guys have seen where you just set the priorities and stuff like that. If you guys have not saw that yet, there'll be a link down below to my other video I did on increasing F FPS. And I go through all of that, but in this video, I go more in depth, and I'll show you guys some things that you probably have not done yet that will increase your performance in your game so yeah, let's just get straight into it okay guys i'm gonna have a downloading and description to this application right here which you are gonna need for the video um there's a few other things but this is the main thing you guys are gonna want it's called it's called mem reduct basically memory reduct and it basically redu reduces your memory on your pc something you want to be um doing at least once a day i'll just show you guys how, how it works once you guys have downloaded it from the description you're just gonna open it press run as administrator press yes fairly simple we just um just set up press next press i agree just put it to any drive, put it in your C drive, it's probably already set to the destination folder. Press next, um, create desktop shortcut, create and start menu shortcut, just do all of them. Let it download, just press, like, let it complete and download, press next. Um, and then press finish, just have it on run so it opens straight up. There you go guys, it's open straight up, it may um, prompt you to um, update, um, I wouldn't worry about that too much. There guys, once you get it open, um, you guys just basically want to press clean memory, it, it, at the moment I've got, for my physical memory, I've got 42% being used, virtual memory also 42%. And that is literally with Google Chrome and this application open. That is not good. What you guys want to do to basically clean up your memory? Um, I'm gonna do this for this case. I'm gonna open up my task manager right here to show you guys that this does generally like clean it up a bit. I'll we'll go to memory right here. It says um in use is 3.3 gigabytes. If I press here, clean memory. Press um do not ask again. Press yes. There you go, guys. Now I've got one gigabyte of memory in use. It just released 786 megabytes, and um, now look, there's a 20 percent here and 42 percent here. Pretty crazy, right? I uh, just like this is something you want to do at least like a few I'll do a few times a day because you're gonna be doing a lot on your PC I usually do it before I open up my Fortnite um, so it's a good thing to do every time you open up your Fortnite so it's generally a good application um, decreases the memory and helps your PC run better when playing Fortnite you guys have a lot open in the background that you don't even realize is there so yeah this is a great application another thing you guys will want to do is change a few things in your actual Windows settings to delivery optimization settings on your PC so just search up the like literally delivery optimization settings click on it and this will open up the setting box right here these are basically your Windows update delivery optimization. Basically, guys, you don't really want this on and it just decre decreases performance overall. So, basically, where it says here, allow downloads from other PCs, just turn that off like so. And there you go, you have just saved at least five frames. Maybe even more for some cases. My PC is pretty good as it is, but I've definitely just saved around five frames. For yourself, you may save up to 30 or depending on how much you actually rely on this. You probably won't know yourself, but this is great to turn off. Guys, also go here to advanced options. Make sure all these are unticked. And if they are ticked, just take take up to zero percent if it does not let you untick them but turn this off will do most of that for you because so once you're in that you can move on to the next method right here nothing you guys can do when you're over on um your google chrome you guys can go to your settings uh so if i go here to settings go down to advanced a few things you may have on is these here down at system you guys may have use hardware acceleration when available and you also might have continued running background apps when google chrome is closed what you guys want to do is make sure these are both unticked so untick that and untick this right here this is going to stop any background apps which are just basically sitting there in the background of your game and um, causing basically memory to be taken up and using hardware acceleration it's just um basically bad because you have google chrome open it's using all that hardware in your pc all your cpu all, it, all your components in your pc are going all the way towards google chrome to accelerate it for best performance maybe turn this on and off depending on if you're using google chrome for a long period of time if you're doing your homework or something like that just quickly whack it on and if it's gonna be running a lot smoother i'll keep these off for the most part there's also a few things you will want to change if you have an nvidia nvidia graphics card i have a geforce 1050 ti so what I want to change here, if you go to your manage 3D settings on your control panel, you want to change maximum pre-rendered frames right here to 1. Make sure you guys press apply after. Where it says threaded optimization here, make sure that it's on. Also guys, where it says vertical sync right here, make sure that is um, set to off. And then once you guys have done that, make sure you we'll press apply to apply every single setting you just changed. Also guys, make sure power management mode is on um, prefer maximum power. Make sure you guys press apply. And once that is all sorted, um, you basically have saved all of them settings. Just press X out. Now you guys have configured your PC a little bit further for Fortnite. If you still want more added onto this if you guys have never watched the fps increase video before or haven't watched my last one and want more fps overall best thing to do is go down in the description and watch my last video i made on this remember guys the download link for this uh, memory duct right here is in the description if you guys did
did watch to the end or like this video or just really want to support me best thing you guys can do is drop a like on the video and subscribe post notifications on so you guys never miss an upload i always try and help you guys and stuff like that sorry the fov slider video was not out today we're still in the working of it and it probably won't be out for the next week but yeah guys keep your eyes peeled stay posted and that'll be up soon but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video it's been your boy farfetch and yeah peace